welcome to Rock Talk. I'm Diane Folletto with Community Relations, and today I have with me Emily Kreidler, who is the Round Rock High School head cheer coach. Yes. Thanks for joining me. Of course. I'm Thank really you. excited to learn about cheerleading. So tell me a little bit about um, cheerleading at Round Rock ISD. Cheerleading at Round Rock ISD, well, first of all, is awesome. And we have um, five high schools and 10 middle schools, and we actually have a um, cheerleading elementary team at Gaddis Elementary. So we have um, obviously lots of um, cheerleading teams. We have that for boys and girls, um, and we go all year long, and we support all the athletic activities and school events. With such a big district, we do have a lot of teams. Mm -hmm. Tell me about why a student would want to be a cheerleader for Round Rock ISD. What's involved? Well, you get to be the face of Round Rock community and um, whatever specific high school or middle school you're at. Um, and people look up to you as a leader and you get the opportunity to be with 36 or so other um, girls or boys that are in for the same goal as you. And um, we have high expectations, so it's a good um, thing to be involved in to push yourself to work harder and to um, um, improve yourself as well and I mean we really just work on promoting positivity and being positive ambassadors um, which you can take into later life the lessons that you've learned throughout cheerleading. I know parents have a lot of questions about uh, cheerleading. Mm -hmm. What are some of your most frequently asked questions? I know personally that cost comes up a lot so mm -hmm. talk a little bit about cost. So it costs, it varies per school and per program, um, but there is a cost and it, you know, it entails um, camp wear, camp itself, um, uniforms, and it could be up to um, $650. So another um, question that we get um, quite frequently is how much time is involved? And honestly, cheerleading is an all year commitment. So it's unlike football or baseball and as it's seasons and it's off seasons, Cheerleading has no off season. We have our own practices and then we prepare for our own routines, but then we also have to go and support the other activities or sporting events or whatnot um, is going on at the time because everyone wants the cheerleaders at their event. So um, it's very time commitment. We have practices in the summer. Um, we work you know, with the fish camp in the summer. We do fundraisers, we do community services. We help out with the local races in town. I mean, pretty much wherever we are wanted, we try and make an effort to go. So public appearances too. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes, it's, um, I mean, once you commit to cheerleading, you have to commit from you know March to the next May or June whenever school is out, because it's an all year plus event. So yes, those are the two most frequently um, asked questions that we get. So I have a question. Mm -hmm. What kind of athleticism is expected of a student who wants to be a cheerleader? Well, cheerleading is a sport, first of all, and it requires um, extreme athleticism. And I mean, we tumble, we jump, we stunt, we dance pretty much at every single practice that we have. So if I'm a parent and I have a student who's interested in becoming a cheerleader at Round Rock ISD, where do I go? How do I get more information? Well, um, mainly it's campus-based, um, so we have, I mean, each specific coach or program is um, in charge of um, advertising for their campus, but we do have the District Cheer website, and um, you can find all the information and all the school's um, cheer program websites on there, and um, we have the, to advertise for the parent, the mandatory parent and candidate meeting, which is held every January, and it varies on the dates, but um, the parents and the candidates have to come in order to um, find out more information about the tryout process and what cheerleading actually entails before they decide to try out. Right, and that's a mandatory meeting. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they can go to the meeting, find out more about what it is to try out and then what will be involved even you know if they make it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And to stay in touch and find out when that meeting's gonna be, they can, they can go to the district website. Yes, ma'am. So, so what are some interesting or lesser known facts about cheerleading? Well, in our district, we actually have um, an elementary school team 
at Gaddis Elementary, and so that's awesome, and it's been um, around for a couple years now. And let's see, we have a competitive team at Round Rock, and we went to nationals in January, and we're ninth in the nation. That's impressive. Thank you. Yes, it was very exciting, and um, lots of hard work went into it, but it was definitely worth it in the end. And um, we actually also have um, what we call Fusion, which is where all of the cheer teams, middle school, the elementary team, and high schools all come together, and we put on a performance, and every team performs. And we also raise money for um, various nonprofit organizations, and that's held every January or February of each year. Well, it certainly sounds like being a cheerleader for Round Rock ISD is full of dedication, but rewarding. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on Rock Talk. Thank you.